You got him. Set Come on, bud. Here. Come on, nice bud. Nice job, Reister. You got him. To me, really, in this age of video games and computers and stuff, you know, getting those kids out there on a regular basis is, is probably the most important thing that we could do for them. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Might, might have another one. Hey, look here. No, we got a big one. We got a big one, Reed. Big bull, there he is. Here he comes. And bingo. Yeah, baby. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Get those rods in the boat. You guys can help me load all this ice in there. Okay. Hey, boys. Here's rods. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You guys get ice. Need a couple strong arms. Coming. How about hopping in the boat and I'll hand them to you and you put them in the cooler, okay? Okay. Nice. It's always cool to take the kids, you know? It's so important to me, really, in this age of video games and television and computers and stuff to really maintain that tight connection between the kids and the natural world, you know? And, and you know, you can do that in a on a camping trip, or a hunting trip, or a fishing trip, or being able to go out dolphin fishing, or just a boat ride, you know? Put the phone down, let's go do something outside. You know, getting those kids out there on a regular basis is, is probably, you know, in my opinion right now, I think it's probably the, the most important thing that we could do for them. Everybody ready? Ready to roll. What do you think we're gonna do today? Catch, catch dolphin. Some fish. Catch dolphin. Catch fish. Think there's anything else out there to catch? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, the great white. Great white? Yeah. Actually, one just actually came into the keys that they've been tracking. Yeah. yeah. I heard that. One of the, the things that I grew up doing with my mom and dad is, is dolphin fishing, and, and and I'm getting to share that same you know experience with my kids and. Um, you know, we, we get out there a good bit during the summer, you know, it's, it's the dolphin fishing or the mahi-mahi, you know, it's, it's, um, it's probably, you know, just the perfect thing for the family because you can go out, um, you know, enjoy a nice boat ride, um, you got a fish that's easy to catch as far as, you know, you know they eat, you don't have yep. to be an expert caster. Yep. Um, that, Lots of different ways to catch yep. them. Troll, you know, if you're if you're not an expert caster, you can troll for them. You could take some pilchards out there. You could take, you know, live shrimp. You could go look at the weed lines. You could look for the birds. And a family of any skill level can can have success there. That's one of the coolest things about it. Oh boys, I got two friggin' birds on the water. They're right on the deck, man. They're all over some fish. Let's go catch them. Straight ahead, right now. What's the compass heading? Come on, Reed. Two ten. Mr. Tom, we'll pitch bait, and you guys uh, put the um, the baits out when we get to them. For just a second. You guys ready? They're up there about half a mile or so. All right, everybody ready? Yes, sir. Hold on tight. They are on them. The, the coolest thing there to me is is we're all it's a it's a hunt. You know, we're as we got about 10 miles offshore, just started looking around for birds, and the kids are looking, you're looking, I'm looking, we're looking through the binoculars, and um, and it's kind of exciting because as soon as you see that that black bird down on the water, you know, it's like oh, there he is, he's on fish. And, it's, and at that point in time, it's just a race. You know when you get there, you're gonna be on fish. So it makes it exciting for everybody. There's the bird, he's on him right there. He's gonna dive right now. All right, I'm going fast, boys. Tom, get up there and sight cast right under that thing. And both the kids are ready. You know, Reed's got his rod over there, Austin's got his, so they know we run up to the bird. As um, soon as we slow down, right. they can let one long, one short, and then one of us is driving the boat, and the other one gets, right. gets a spinning rod ready to sight cast, because we know once we see that bird come down, that the fish are right under right. them. So right. the excitement level is, is, is through the roof. Even if you don't get a bite, your anticipation level is so high that it makes it fun for everybody. Got there he is. One, got one. Reed, you got a bite. Oh, he's on there. Dad, All right, Reed, man. Here, Dad, I'm oh, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, leave, leave yours out. Okay, hold up, hold up. Um, no. There you go. No, we'll have to go with the spinning rods now. Yeah, reel yours up. 
and uh, we can throw these other spinning rods back there. Hopefully there'll be more coming with it. Nice job, Reedster! Get him, Reed. Right under that frigate, wasn't he, boys? Of course, you know, as a fishing guide or, or a father or somebody that's just trying to take some people out to have a good time, the best thing that could possibly happen is to get some success early because it really takes the pressure off. And whenever that happens on a guide trip or whatever where you get success right away, that's, that's great, man, because it gives you the opportunity to go swing for the fence and try to get something bigger. And, and this day, that's exactly what happened. Keep coming. All right, Reed. Nice job, buddy. All right, stop. First fish, first dolphin of the day. Ah, he's close. Nice. Good job, buddy. Way to go, Reed. Um, is he a keeper? What do you think? Let's I let him grab. I think we'll bigger. let this one go. He's a little short, but we'll get a bigger, bigger one later. Awesome. Good job, buddy. Well done. Way to go, pal. All right. Awesome. You want to grab a new bait for this one? Big old bull dolphin. We've been looking for this guy all day, baby. You got him, buddy. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Hawks K, the only key you'll need. By Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Vicious, get vicious. And by Power Pole. And Buff. Definitely the favorite thing for my kids when they want to go fishing, that's what they ask for. They want to go dolphin fishing. Dolphin? You know, we've gotten out there before and we've caught, you know, lots of lots of little ones, you know, yeah. the schoolie size, you know, the two to five pound fish. And, you know, they can be hundreds of them in the water. And they're, right. they're a lot of fun, especially for the smaller kids and things. So um, that was cool. We, the kids had fun. They caught some of the smaller ones. We had a few in the cooler for dinner. And we, and we, let, we basically asked them, you know, do you, you guys want to go out and try to catch some bigger ones? Right. And, and they were up for it. And uh, this was the first time that you and I have gotten to really do that together. We hit a day yeah. where, yeah. Um, you know, it was in the spring um, and it's been, it'd been windy. Um, often, really windy. Often when, it, when that wind's been blowing hard out of the southeast mm -hmm. for days, um, you know, it's just really too rough to get out and fish offshore like that. So we've been doing some inshore fishing and kind of hiding from the wind. But, but the wind finally started to lay down. It didn't lay down a ton, yeah. but it lay down enough for us to get out that day. Got one! All Let's right! Go on. All right, Austin! Good job, buddy. We lucked into just one of the best days ever. It I mean, was good. It was good. And, and that was the time of year where frigate birds are on these big dolphins. They're following them around. They're, they're, they're waiting for the flying fish to shoot up in the air. Um, and for me, that just gets me so excited. I love it because I know when I see that big black frigate bird diving right. down on the water, there are big fish right underneath of them. And uh, that day we rigged up, you know, at the dock, we rigged up a bunch of trolling lures, mostly just ballyhoo, rigged some ballyhoo, brought some extra ballyhoo to pitch at them. The dolphin that time of year are chasing these flying fish, which are, which are basically the same profile, size and shape as a ballyhoo. Yeah. So the ballyhoo is a great imitation. Um, we use a few different lures that have little like wings and different looking, you know, heads on them to make them kind of imitate that flying fish. But that's what they're feeding on. You got him. Come on, buddy. Come nice on, buddy. Nice job, Reedster. You got him. Is that nope. it? No, nope. he's on there. Yeah, he's next. Got he's another one jet, getting bit right here. I have a triple yeah. on. We already have a triple. Are you guys catching anything by us? There's another one for you, bud. Oh, yeah. you catch it. I want you to get it. You're telling me you need to have some food? I'm going to have some food. Oh, yeah. Dad. Yes, sir. These are nice ones. These are nice, uh, nice size. You caught another one? I was a boy or girl? Um, girl. There could be a good bull in here. These are nice size cows, so there could easily be a good bull. 
the whole boat just explodes with excitement. I mean, both kids are, are super psyched that they're hooked up. I'm, I'm excited, I'm hooked up. Then as soon as everybody gets hooked up, there's another rod that goes out. I mean, it's just that kind of fishing. It turns into chaos right away. But, you know, the, the thing is, is that you're not really after the chaos necessarily. It's just that you gotta act fairly quickly and you can easily get every rod that you can possibly get in the water can get hooked up right there because that's the school of fish. And that school of fish can come and go. And if you don't act quickly, then you know you might not catch them. But the cool thing was, you know, getting them all hooked up and letting those kids reel them in. You know, just a, a big dolphin. I mean, those are nice dolphins, real you know, nice, especially nice. for a six-year-old. That's a nice one. Nice surprise. There you go. There you go. Here comes another one. Nice one. All right. Go, you go back there and catch another one. Mr. Tom's got them on. Oh, yeah. Good job. Okay, we got two more right here. Ah. All the way up. Under. Nice. Can you take the hook out? All right, Reed. Oh, yeah, he's get that a hook out. beauty. He's a beauty, isn't he? Yeah, I just saw him come off and went down. Good job. Nice. Yeah, nice. Open the cooler for me. Nice wake up surprise, huh? That's right. Nice wake up. Excellent. Seems like the further out we go, the bigger they get. Yep, we're gonna get more too, bud. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By Lowrance, find, navigate, dominate. Quantum rods and reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Loadmaster and Costa. Look at that one. It's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Look at him. Mama's Look gonna him. be happy, we got dolphin for dinner. We ventured out, you know, that was a situation where because the kids have had some experience offshore, we felt confident, you know, we had, you know, honestly, if I was there by myself with the kids, yeah. I wouldn't have felt as confident. I had right. you there, we had, you know, had two adults, two kids, um, you know, kids that weren't gonna get seasick. We felt like we could take that, because it was pretty rough. Once, oh, we, yeah. once we got out into that Gulf Stream and, and ventured out there probably between 15 and 20 miles, that last five miles was rough. And, um, and but, but we had such good reports, you really, the excitement level's even higher, running up there thinking these might be big ones. And this time we could actually see them in the water, big boys cruising through there and hooked up. There he is, look at him. Nice fish, Austin. You know, it became real obvious real fast to me that we had hit the right day and uh, we were gonna be able to catch these, you know, until, until these boys got tired, until their arms got tired, until they were started melting down, ready to go home. Little did I know that was gonna be a long time. I mean, those guys, their attention span has gotten a, lo a little longer. And, you know, since the last time I went fishing with them, they can do it, man. Oh, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Might have, might have another one. Hey, look here. Another one, another one, another one. Big lead, Reed, 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 Reed. That's Roman. Nice job, buddy. Can you help me get out here? Double header. Yep. That's a good one right there, Reed. Man, we got every kind of thing going on in this boat you can have going on. Oh, yeah. Got that one on? Maybe. Yep, that's good one. That looked like the bull. Yep. Get that Let's other, get another bait out. Bobby, the husband. The husband. Look at him jumping. Big bull. This is a 30 plus pounder. Oh, yeah. Reed hooks up and is a big bull dolphin. And uh, you can see it immediately. You see that big square head of the bull, the big male jumping, yep. going crazy. And at that point in time, you're like, all right, here's a six year old kid. He's got this big fish on. It's really rough. I mean, that was that was a test for him. Test, but passed with with flying colors, man. I mean, he, he handled that fish as well as a grown man. No problem at all. It's just cool to see yeah. them, you know, start to be able to do something in the boat more more so than, you know, having to open the bale for them, hook the fish for them, hand them the rod. You know, they've graduated from that. Now it's time, you know, OK, we're going to get to this spot. Everything goes out. They're able to do that totally on their own. And if we did our job right and get the boat in position, yep. It's gonna happen. Man, this, is gonna Woo! this is what we've been waiting for. This is nice gonna job, take a buddy. while. It's awesome. gonna you take are. a while. How you doing, Reed? Good. Who's gonna run out of energy first? Probably him. I hope him. Man. You know, it's cool to see a couple kids being able to experience that kind of fishing because 
the fishing guy doesn't get to take his own kids fishing as much as he might like to because he's fishing to pay the bills, you know? And sometimes when you do get to take them fishing, maybe the weather's not right. that good. Yeah. Or, or maybe, you know, maybe it just doesn't happen. So it's super duper special when you can get out there with your own kids and the fishing is just off the charts. Reed, that's a whopper, dude. Reed, that is a fish. All right, Reed. <laughs> Big old bull dolphin. <laughs> We've been looking for this guy all day, baby. You got him, buddy. Look how beautiful he is, man. Lit up. We found the big ones, didn't we? Lit up. All right, Reed, you just keep doing what you're doing. It's Come about back. to happen. We're about to get him. Your dad's gonna slide in behind and give him a head shot. Here he comes. And bingo! Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> Reed! Yes. He's as big as you, he dude! He is as big as you! Yes. Look at that! Look at that awesome fish, Woo. man. Awesome fish. I can't believe that's your biggest Reed. dolphin yet, Reed. It's better than you He's hooked well. You did an awesome job with him. Big bulldog. He, he, he wasn't coming off. He's cut. We're gonna have to cut that. We got it. Come check him Stand out, Stand over there next to him, Reed. You know, what really gets me going these days about fishing is it's about the kids, man. You know, I think it's just so cool that, you know, we can do that together and you can go with me when I take my kids and I can go with you when you take your kids and, you know, help to instill in them how important that is, you know, to get out and experience the outdoors. And, and that's how you create a fishing partner for the rest of your life. Yep. Just a couple of good fishing trips like that, you got a partner for the rest of your life. Oh, that is a beautiful fish. Father and son moment. Bang. Got it! You know, the Florida Keys sunshine is so strong and so powerful that as a professional fishing guide, you've got to be very, very careful. Guides have gone to unbelievable measures, including full coverage of zinc oxide, bandanas, you know, all kinds of crazy hats trying to stay out of the sun. I was fortunate enough to, uh, to see one of these a long time ago. And I was actually the first fishing guide to ever start wearing one of these. It's called a Buff, and it's a super simple product that has really saved me a tremendous amount of trouble. And it's one of these kind of things where there's only like three pieces of equipment that I would actually not go fishing without. The rod and reel, the sunglasses, and the Buff. I would turn around and go back to the dock and, and pick one of these up if I didn't have it. And it's super simple. We even have uh, saltwater experience ones now. Um, but all this thing is really is a, is a kind of a sock, right? But this thing goes over your head, and this is the way we wear it here in the Florida Keys so that we're uh, able to sight fish the best. And a lot of people will just wear it right around their neck, right? And it'll protect the back of your neck. A lot of times we're looking down sun, and, uh, and the sun's always at our back, so the back of your neck just gets fried. But as a, as a professional fishing guy trying to see into the water, I'm going to put my sunglasses on like this, and I'm going to take this buff, and I'm going to put it on right up to the bottom of my sunglasses like this. And then, you know, what makes this thing so awesome is that it's, it's really adjustable. I can move it up on my head to make it tighter, like on, on a kid or uh, on somebody with a smaller head, or down and make it looser. But what this does is it completely blocks out all the light from underneath my sunglasses, allows me to see into the water better, and there's lots of additional benefits. Like, as I pull this up over my ears, it makes everything so much quieter. As I'm running in the boat, you're going 30, 40 miles an hour into a 20 mile an hour wind. It's really loud, and this thing really, really calms that down, makes it super quiet, but the biggest advantage, obviously, is keeping your skin out of the sun. So this buff is a lifesaver. If you haven't tried a buff, go to Bass Pro Shops and check out the buff. It's the best product on the market. It's one of those things that I will absolutely turn around and go get if I don't have one. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by True Flies, life off the chart. By Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by Motor Guide and Fraybill. You want to see more saltwater experience? 
Go to saltwaterexperience.com for exclusive web content. We've got how-to videos, behind the scenes footage, and things you've never seen on TV. Go to saltwaterexperience.com now. big ones there I remember it seemed like they were coming in packs you know maybe not giant schools but you know at least two three four five or six yeah. at a time <laughs> and, uh, and that's where it gets really exciting when you get those big ones on I remember at one point we looked down in the water and swam right up to the boat here's another big one swam right up to the boat you know it was, wasn't much of a fight he just jumped a few times and, and we got him and and just just a great day to be able to um, for both the kids to be able to catch big ones for us to be able to you know bring some fish home for mom for dinner and, and uh, it was just a fantastic day out there couldn't be better couldn't be better. Woo! Yeah, that, that was cool! Is there another one? That, that was cool. He slammed be. right up, man. There might be. Watch. Look at this guy right here. Do awesome. Take, 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 take your time. Look at this guy. He was like Navy. Navy. Like Navy camo. Take your time. Yeah, he's done. Oh, here's oh, another little guy. Another one. Oh. I don't know. Hold, hold him right there, Austin. Awesome. Oh, yeah. This guy ready? <laughs> that was cool, huh? Nice. Woo, awesome. Come here. Take a look at this. Dude, nice job, man. He's beautiful. Beautiful. Woo-wee. We got a clean fish, clean boats. We got to clean everything. Nice job, buddy. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Good job. 